Hey folks, thanks for joining me back on the Zenith 6S 229. I'm not into the electrical restoration yet. I'm still pondering what to do with the uh, faux finish. I've been out of pocket for a few days, so I appreciate everyone uh, taking time to uh, drop me a comment. I'll try to respond to those uh, comments as quickly as possible. Anyway, a few minutes out here in the shop today, I thought I would pull out the uh, loudspeaker take a closer look and you can see it looks like we've had some mice or rodents uh, crawling around in the cabinet at some point in time and decided to uh, chew on the output transformer anyway the purpose of this video I'm going to show you guys how to energize safely the electrodynamic uh, loudspeaker that is the field coil uh, to create the magnetic field so we can uh, hook up the audio signal generator and uh, throw a signal through that and just see how this thing performs knowing the uh, cone is uh, compromised in addition to the surround. So you can see for this particular schematic that I'm showing it calls out my uh, voltages which makes it real simple just to use Ohm's law and back into the uh, current flow for the uh, B plus side of this receiver called out on the schematic 322 volts for the rectifier filament and then when we get over to the uh, power output tube for the uh, grid 2 or the screen grid we're down to 247 so that gives us a 75 volt drop again the field coil you can see is called out at 1250 ohms I actually measure uh, 1047 that was cold as you guys recall, the DC resistance of uh, copper will increase as it heats up. So who knows when this reference point was taken, but again, the DC will probably approach 1250 or greater as the uh, unit is in operation. Uh, just for giggles, I measured the inductance, uh, just uh, under 4 Henry's at 1 kilohertz. But going back to Ohm's Law, you can see we can uh, calculate the current by taking voltage divided by resistance. So we have a 75 volt drop. Divide that by the uh, 1250 and you can see that gives my B plus current around 60 milliamps. So I can safely energize the fill coil to um, 60 milliamps. I found that's really not necessary. I can do about half of that or so and still get a good output response using my signal generator. So we'll do that test real quick and then we'll come back and uh, look at some other results here. Okay guys, I was showing you how to uh, calculate the uh, maximum current for the field coil. Doing some basic math using the uh, Zenith. 6S229 is an example. Let me uh, flip on my power supply over here. You can keep an eye on the uh, DC current. But, uh, what I found in this case, again, being around 60 milliamps is the uh, B plus current, plus or minus probably a few percentage points for this receiver. I can load the uh, fill coil at about one half of that using my uh, signal generator as an input source. I can successfully test the electrodynamic uh, loudspeaker. So you can hear the uh, loudspeakers definitely compromised by the uh, defects in the paper cone and the uh, surround and the gasket being loose. 
So if I were to use the uh, loudspeaker in the condition it is, the uh, sound quality would be terrible, especially on the uh, lower response. You can hear the high-end response not too bad. Back on the output transformer, even though we've got that damage to the uh, outside tape or paper, you know, fortunately I can read 529 ohms of DC resistance at this point, 656 millihenries, and you can see on the LCR meter that I'm reading uh, just uh, under 7500 ohms at 1 kilohertz. I'll expand more on that in just a moment. So we can actually back into this number, but the first thing we need to do is calculate what the uh, plate current is, and we can do that as well based on the voltages that are uh, called out on the schematic. I had already mentioned the rectifier was at 322. You've got the uh, 75 volt drop for the fuel coil. Again, we can subtract 75 from the 322 gives us the 247 that I referenced up here. I can also minus the uh, 231. Again, that's the voltage called out on the plate, pin 3 of the 6F6. So you can see we've got a 16 volt drop across the uh, output transformer. Again, we can apply Ohm's law. Calculate the current for the plate. So we can say the current again is the voltage divided by the resistance. So 16 volts divided by the 529 ohms of DC resistance that we read comes back to 30 milliamps of plate current for the 6F6. So now I can move over and calculate the impedance reflected back by taking the plate voltage of 231 volts, divide that by 0 0.03, that 30 milliamps of plate current, and that gives us the uh, primary reflected impedance. Again, you can see using the LCR meter, we read uh, just under 7500. So I'm not going to break this thing apart unless I find it necessary to make the uh, repairs. So we're going to uh, assume, based on those numbers, that the uh, output transformer and the loudspeaker is correct and what's being reflected back to the uh, 6F6 tube would be correct. Again, the uh, turns ratio for this particular output transformer, we can calculate that and you can see that places us back to around 43 to 44 turns to 1 for the uh, turns ratio for the output transformer. Just working into the math this way. I appreciate you guys watching. Everyone out there, uh, take care. And again, I'll respond to the uh, comments as quickly as possible as I continue to uh, kind of ponder over my uh, next steps on the cabinet as we approach the uh, fall months.